Welcome back, and we find our heroes after a very intense battle with the Undertaker. Unfortunately, I was rooting for Maxwell to die, but you know. Wow. What did he say? Oh. Really? Really? Oh, oh. That's coming from your paycheck there, buddy. I mean, I'm Appar the one that Apparently, you don't like being paid. To keep him alive. Apparently, you don't like being paid, mate. <laughs> Sucks to Apparently, say. you just don't like paying people. Apparently, according to your intro. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, oh, wait, no, oh, no! John, we don't wow. talk about... Gilgamesh, we don't <laughs> talk about that! <laughs> what? Bitch, you just got I, I, I paid my interns. What are you talking about? Lies. Uh -huh. Really? Anyway... The thing that everyone missed was Doctor Strange and... Dr. Fate teleported everyone back to the headquarters? Wait, when did this happen? Okay. Also, uh, quickly, Maxwell, who did you, uh, who did you hire for the titles? I don't... Just, just, uh, I did don't... you do them? The titles, what do you mean? Uh, because you misnumbered the, uh, the last episode. What do you mean I missed? Oh, wait, no, we didn't miss number. Go what? and look. Go and look. Hold on. Or do, I, or do I have to pull it up on stream and show the fan base? Oh, God. Wait, why do we have two episode threes? That's what I'm asking you. Where is the intern? Because uh, y'all are dumbasses, that's all. Don't worry about it. You know, just spitballing here, but maybe if you paid your intern... Instead Maybe of, you, you know, just trying to get the rest later. left already. <laughs> well, then. I guess. Was the unpaid interns the reason why you were up performing Tony Stark, or. <laughs> Honestly, it wouldn't surprise up. me. Smack. <laughs> well, we found our heroes back at the headquarters in the main hall. Steven! Um, y y yes, sir. Okay. Put this down in my notes. I do not like being picked up. Um, I'm pretty sure that sounded better in your head there, sir. Wait, well, you, you must like have a hard time with girls, then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these I narrators. I, I just thought I think we misplaced one previously, didn't we? Misplaced what? The last the kid, person. the last girl. Oh, the yeah. new person, maybe. Yeah. I don't, oh. Speaking of which, where is she? Speaking of which, we now have another misplaced person thanks to Doctor Strange. We have to figure that out. Oh, of course. Yes. Well, this lovely lady is from a different dimension. No. Really? I never would have guessed. I never would have fucking guessed. Congratulations. So, Ancient I... spirit knows just about every basic common language, and yeah, it doesn't recognize. Yeah, it definitely would never came back from delusion. Captain Obvious over here. I can tell you, she's very intelligent. For her kind. Yeah, we could tell. She threw all the heaviest books that, and, and then don't... Directly at Maxwell. Maxwell. <laughs> yes, that was wonderful. It Ooh, was one book, overjoyed. and it was a very lucky throw, okay? Lucky throw my ass, bitch. Okay, Maxwell, to be fair, me and Jock had about a bunch of books bounce off us, and it didn't phase us, and one book is all it took to phase you. Okay, first off, I am not as, like, yeah, I'm squishy. I'm like skin no. and bones. You guys, are, look. Jacques is a freaking puddle of blood. You are a freaking <laughs> elder god. Watch yourself. Yeah, me god, but besides it. Watch what you say. Am I wrong? 
I am thousands of years older than you. Learn to respect I... your elders, bitch. I didn't oh, get hurt the by the book. Speaking of respect, that's glorious. Go fuck yourself, Goldie. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get hurt by the books. I, I know you're you... just slow. <laughs> You know what? I, I'm, no wonder the book of knowledge hit them. That's why they were they had to stop being slow as a result. I, I I'm just gonna go to my office. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> You're welcome. You're I welcome mean, for saving your life. Have a nice day. Um, Bye. Hold that, you too, buddy. Don't mi- worry, Mister uh, Mister Maxwell. Um, th- this came for you. Stephen gives Maxwell a vanilla envelope. What's this? Um, it it came from Matt Murdock, the the lawyer. Okay. Oh, uh oh, someone's in trouble. Oh, uh, listen, if it's about that one time I hit Tony Stark's car, he deserved it. Okay. Which maybe car? It mu- maybe it was the music you picked when you were edit- editing. I I don't edit. Uh, that that's what the intern is for. Maxwell opens oh. the vanilla envelope and sees that it's he's being sued for not paying his employees. Gotcha, bitch. Hmm. What? I wonder. I wonder why that would be. I I totally paid my employees. Even these guys get paid. Calm, get paid. calm, calm. calm. Calm, relaxing episode as Maxwell proceeds to file bankruptcy. <laughs> I don't get paid. Uh, of, of course you do. Hun, it's in your bank account. What's a bank account? Something that has your, your, your earnings. Don't worry. It's fine. What's an earning? It's what you make when we do these silly little missions. Or field trips. Whatever you want to call them. And why should I be impressed by this paper? You should be impressed by the paper. Maxwell takes it out of Gilgamesh's hand. This is BS, and you know it. Um, to suck, I'm referring bitch. to what you refer to as currency. Why should that paper matter? I don't know. It's like Just we... I check precious metals and gems actually were our actual currency. Well, that you're going to have to deal with the United States Maxwell. government. Maxwell. Yep. I mean, Dad. they have nothing I want. So, hmm. What yep. does it mean to get sued? That means, means someone is angry with them. you and is being a Karen and just doesn't want to... It means alone. Maxwell is about to be bent over. I am not! What do you, what do you mean by <laughs> Maxwell is going to be bent over? You want over? some wine and to be hey. dined before you... What bend. does that mean? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what... What does that mean? <laughs> we'll leave that one for Maxwell to figure out how I'm explaining. Have fun. <laughs> Maxwell just pats Sophie on the head. But I'll let you know when you're older. Oh! Um, talking about that, um, I have set something up in the meeting room for everyone. What did you set up, Stephen? Um, well, I was looking at the files and putting them away, and I noticed it was the little one's birthday, so I, I got a, a cake. How the hell did you get her, her actual record? What's my birthday? What is a birthday? I'm confused. Exactly. Oh, um. A birthday is when, <laughs> yeah, a birthday is when you've uh, come into the world. You know, you, you've never celebrated a birthday. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Dylan and Mary's on the, the, the kneel down. So you remember the first day that that, that you started actually wanting out your dad dead? Yeah. Yeah. That. Uh... Celebration of that, basically. Well, you put okay. it that way, it just sounds horrible. It is horrible, and that's exactly what it is. Don't worry. Different situations call for different explanations. Okay. Not to mention, well... not, not to mention, her wanting him dead is actually something for her to be cheerful towards. So you know. Stephen, just just write a check out and settle this lawsuit. We'll, we'll just settle. I don't care. Wow. If you really aren't guilty, I imagine you'd fight it rather than settle. Settle implies you know you'll lose. Listen. Do you think we have time <laughs> to go into a courtroom and deal with this? Also, it's you freaking... don't even need to physically go. You can. You're rivaling Stark, right? You should be able to just send droves of lawyers in, ahead of you and just have them deal with it. But you're settling instead. Listen, I am not <laughs> as rich as freaking 
Tony Stark, okay? I thought you said you were outperforming him in terms of business. Outperforming him in business and being rich are two different things. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Because you got to pay him the that. company. He's the one with multi mansions. Oh, good for him. Why don't you go move in with him? I don't think this is a hill you want to die on. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> oh, no. No, I will die on this hill. Okay? Because I am so working you're almost my way here. The here. Here. Yeah. Undertaker, you know. You, you really got to go there with the Undertaker full crap. To be fair, if it weren't for me mm. opting to just to be to be friendly and pop in, then Doctor Fado over there wouldn't have actually gotten involved. But you, know. you did you did take the longest to get out. And I only reason I took long, as long as it is because I was playing the Undertaker just to pass time. Okay. Anyways, Moldy Gold over there technically you kind of owe him a banks as it goes a bare minimum. I I don't get paid at all, especially for what I do. I don't need. I mean, there's a difference between being gratitude and payment. Fair. Fair enough. But with that, me and Doctor Strange are going to take the amulet of Ra and put it in his museum to make sure it's safe. Right. Um. When does he? When? When does um? Five o'clock shadow doctor boy decide he wants to you know resolve the interdimensional abduction? Okay. Yeah, I gotta agree with Gilgamir. We, you literally, you two literally took a random woman. By the way, I don't even know who this girl is. We don't even got a name. She speaks in tongues. Maxwell just keeps pointing. I mean, if you Chalk is me. going to walk up and start. I can at least understand it. Well, yeah, it's a it's a good point. Oh, actually, the... since we're going to be trying to rope, rope Dork into the actually, this is a, this is a good question. This is a good question. Is Dork here right now? I am right here. Yeah, I, cool. no, that's not what I mean. I meant in game. In oh yeah, character. she is. She is there. Everyone is in the headquarters. So real quick and. I kind of want this to be a question to be resolved between Dork and Jason on the actual answer. Would you say her, her foreign language is a offset of dialect, or...? Um, that is... Her language... Neurologic's language is a... How do I put this? It can be learned if she teaches it to us. But that mm. that implies she has to know how we communicate. Well, because I was just kind of curious if if it is a very heavy offshoot of a dialectic, then from there be parsed. Technically, there are certain words that will sound very similar to other words, and they might or might not come across correctly. I. I haven't decided. So I guess what I'm asking is, do you feel that there's enough of a off branch from the dialect where someone could start to try to build a um... Considering it's it's a uh, language that is uh, it can be deciphered the longer like she talks to herself because um, words, certain things have certain I was going to say, because, like I said, Gilgamesh just understands all actual languages for their reality, so right. he was basically going to rattle down the list of basic greetings to see what actually gets your response and attention. Okay. Okay, Shock is just going to continue listening and basically remembering what the fuck is being said. Mm. Okay. Gotta um, remember, he's an ancient spirit who was made to be caught up with basic, with the time he's in, so he's by ascension, understands the necessary language. Jacques <laughs> has just been alive for thousands upon thousands of years. If you're going to try to um, see what she can understand, I need both of you to roll an intellect check. Okay. Actually, hang on. Real quick. Considering uh -huh. this is me trying to assess a, di a dialect which you use, can I use my assessment? 
Um, you can. I'm just going to be listening to how she speaks. Yes. Yeah. Um, if and you want to use that. your insight, yeah, go ahead. Cool. That's much better than intellect. Hey, uh, 23. <laughs> All right. Dork, what did you get on your intellect roll? I, again, I don't have my dice right now, so. Oh, um. No, oh, I got a 17. I can roll for Okay, that works. I was going to say I can do it. Dork got an 18. Dork got on the die. 18, 18 on the die. I don't know what her stats are. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm specifying for Jace's sake. I'm pretty sure Jace realizes that I don't know her stats. I know her stats. Hold on. I, I mean, we all technically have access. Like the number on the die. That is not your... My intellect is 8. Yeah, I know your, um, your intellect is so... Wait, since her character thing is... Um, there's in one of the chats... Is the link not working, or...? I can't open anything on Discord. Oh. I was I talking to Dork. What do you mean? Um, there's the character sheets chat I have in Discord. For... Yeah. Oh, okay. That's how okay, I knew it. so... <laughs> Jace, would I also be able to use Insight for this, since I'm just kind of running over... I'm basing I'm that off of Insight. Is... I'm basing that off of Assessment, why I was able I mean, uh, I'm kind of doing the same thing, but I'm trying to figure out if I hear words that sound very similar. The thing is, Sean, what I'm referring to is an actual... Yeah, he actually has yeah, the ability... Yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. He does have assessment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, why do you think I was paying attention to that? And like, hey, this sounds like it's passable. Okay, so... To be fair, there's also the fact that, Looney, you'd technically be having a harder time with modern language, too. Because... But that's why I told her to roll it have been for so long. So she got yeah, eight, that's true. 18 on an 8. But that's modern language. I'm, so, we're talking about a different language entirely. Okay. Yeah, I know, but that wouldn't change the fact that it makes it harder to learn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, so okay. you both are in the range of able to understand each other. How do you want to go about it? Mm. So is this where I can basically start the dialogue or? You could start with a dialogue, or... As long uh, as you're more expressive with your body and hand movement, she's going to understand the bases. Yeah. All right, then, yeah, we can work with that. So, while gesturing, while speaking, he's basically going to say, Hi, um... Seems like you've basically been brought off for, into an entirely different reality, so I think we can start with that unpacking. Uh... Long story short, we're... The good guys... Uh, hero association of sort. If I'm understanding it. That's questionable. Air quotes. Air quotes. Good guys. It's my question, though, as myself, as like the, did he do thumbs up for good guys? Because that would be hilarious. Um. Please say, please. <laughs> I want it. I want it. You know it. what? Sure. That this is a parody. <sighs> we'll go for it. <laughs> She doesn't understand uh, the words being said, but she can understand the. Um, no, the she's movement. he's trying to use a dialect as close to yours as possible to convey this as well. I know, yeah. but so she's you're getting because the see. words because her 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 language is again mix up of different ones of this world. She hears words that sound similar, but she doesn't know if they mean what she thinks they mean. Oh yeah, so he's so, trying to put in his best to the just mm -hmm. channel alongside that. What, um, uh, and so she's looking at the hey, hand, she's looking at it. Mm -hmm. So out of curiosity, could, um, Dork, do you have a specific amount of different languages that it is culminated into, or is it just all of them? Uh, do you know uh, chaos? Pardon? The language chaos. I feel I need a little more context before I can answer. Anyways, Jace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to make the motion of, like, can you speak? Like, say something. And then I want to see if I can make a roll to try and piece it together and try and recreate the language. Um, like she said, she can understand body language and maybe, like, signals. That's why I'm like, okay, the thumbs up I would allow if John was like, yeah, I'm going to do the thumbs up. Okay. Also, because I've already started parsing out how to put the dialect together... Just, I'm missing the proper pronunciations of it. Mm -hmm. I'm just, but I'm getting, uh, I'm just getting the so I, I want to hear how she speaks. 
so I can try and piece it together as well, is the thing. Or you could ask Dr. Strange, who this entire time was in the same dimension as her, who understands the language. None of you have asked Dr. Strange to possibly translate what she's saying. I, mean, I love how you're just giving us an answer instead of letting us Cause, go. Like, I'm, and I'm letting this go for there, 10 minutes just... and nobody's like, wait. And just throw this out there, you assume that Gilgamir would want anything from Strange <laughs> after how he described him. Just gonna look over at Here, Strange. how about this? Like, hey, she Strange. starts talking, she starts like responding, then realizes it's not going to be translated, like it's not going to come across. Looks at Doctor Strange and speaks like, uh, "Can I get help here?" <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm just gonna look. I at could Strange. translate, young, young one. She is trying to get the man in gold here. Doctor, you're gonna uh, need to be more. What the fuck you want. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be more. Need to be more. Um, no, more he doesn't. Clear he didn't specify Moldy, so he's clearly talking about me. Jacques is just gonna look at Strange and say, "Hey, are you able to teach me this in a short amount of time or now?" Um, I can teach you. I mean, if you have a book, I wouldn't mind reading it, honestly. She could probably write I always enjoy new languages. Over time. If it was given the option. I anyway. don't think I have the time to write the book. But... Just throwing this out there. We got two people who are supposed to be of extreme magical capability. Neither of you have any form of talisman or item that could help just automatically translate? <clears throat> Not exactly, no. Different dimensions. Oh. And that was the moment that Star Trek tried to sue Maxwell. <laughs> Anyways, strange. How long would it take to teach me how to speak and understand the language? Okay, Jacques, I need you to roll a. Uh, hold on, hold on. How did we do our? Roll me an awareness check. Roger that. That is an 18 with a plus 7, so that is a... Fuck! Um, that is a 25. 25. Okay. Well, Dr. Strange puts out his hand towards York. We can try to read each other's minds. It'd be a lot easier. Jock is just going to grab his hand and be like, all right, let's go. Okay, so I need you to roll an intellect check now. I wouldn't mind joining in on this if you're okay with that, Jace. That's uh, a 19. It is a 19. So you start to understand the language, but you're having a hard time with certain words. So okay. May I try a roll? You can try a roll to communicate with um, oh, I thought Dr. Strange was just going to you know, offer this to anyone, but okay. I'm not enjoying how this is going, because no person is going to be able to look at a language and be like, okay, I'll master this in an hour without I mean, we're not looking to memory. master it in an hour. We're looking to try and it's get mind the reading. basics right now. Mind mind reading reading. Also, also, Jacques <laughs> only knows the basics, so he's not going to be... It's basically like him just learning the basics of Spanish in school and trying <laughs> to communicate nice. with uh, someone who's been speaking Spanish all their life. English, motherfucker. It's like if any of you tried to speak yeah. in French to me. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. And also Bonjour. to be and also to be fair, Dora, my character would probably have the best capability. Oh my god, to your pronunciation is so bad. I know it's fucking wrong because I've been out of fucking French for a long time, bitch. It's not that it's wrong; it's just bad. <laughs> Anyways, so so you you could try again, Gilgamir, and try to like mine the words to her to see if she understands, or just tell I mean, Doctor I... Strange what you're trying to tell him or tell her, and Doctor Strange will communicate to her in her language. Okay, so Gilgamir's gonna go. Okay, so starters wouldn't mind actually trying to pick up a new language. That aside, so, though, can you just kind of catch her up as to who really we are, quickly, what we do, and what's going on? Really quickly, Sylphie's going to tug on Strange's 
sleeve or pant leg or whatever. Tug on his cape, and then I'm going to make you roll. <laughs> oh my god. What, what am I rolling for to tug on his cape? The cape is sentient, remember? Yes, the cape Nat is 20, sentient. Bitch. <laughs> is it that 20? So you tug on the cape, the cape comes off Dr. Strange and stares at you, and it realizes you're a little girl, and just taps Dr. Strange on the shoulder. It gets back <laughs> on his shoulders just so he can tap it. <laughs> oh. Mr. Weird uh... Man, can you, can you tell her something for me? Yes. She's really pretty. Okay. That is so wholesome. She... Coming from Sylphie, it's hilarious. Dr. Strange <laughs> turns to... I just feel like to... you're such a wholesome child. She... she... <laughs> Dr. Strange turns to Noir. First, telling her what Sylphie just told him in her language. Okay, and she uh, is very thankful for that comment and gives the child a smile. So, I need to ask this. Sylphie seems happy and goes back to chewing out a book. (sighs) Jace. Do I comprehend what was just? Do I comprehend what Doctor Strange just said? Um, to a degree. Roll me an intelligence check, but add three to it. Seventeen. Seventeen. So that was a twenty. You... No, no, like seventeen total. Oh, seventy total. Okay, so you understand half of what Doctor Strange just said. Is it gonna be? I think. I think the best way to explain it. Like how you guys could start picking it up would be you can hear, you can catch the certain words, but not the entire sentence. Maybe right. That, yeah, that, that's that's what, what it is. Yeah, that's what I'm getting mm-hmm. at. Like it's okay. I didn't kind of. My brain was not want... comprehending half of that. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. So after that, so like I them want... trying to learn your language. <laughs> yes. There you much. go. And I have a zero in intellect, so I have the normal brain capacity of a normal human being. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. But, uh... <laughs> anyway, Your literal only benefit is you've been alive for a thousand years. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Alright. I will try to explain to her what you guys are. Young child. These interesting folk are the superheroes of the round table. The, the organization that... The slightly ovular table, man. Jesus. Is that what we're really going with? Copyrights, man. Maxwell's already been sued over this twice. And he's already currently being sued by his interest, so he can't really afford any extra at the moment. You know, he's got a point. Oh, I hate you all. With a passion. <laughs> We like oh, you don't too. Worry. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry. You know that you need us. You can't get rid of me Fine now. To the fact that she can understand the narrator is dis- com- like cons- disconcerting. Like, what? <laughs> Actually, that's a good point. What does she think about hearing two voices coming out of nowhere that she can understand? <laughs> I mean, technically, so your confused. character here is physically present. It's Lucius's that isn't. Yeah. yeah, my character isn't physically present for most of the time. Yeah. Mm. So, she can understand the narrator, well, she can, but she doesn't understand why she's hearing the voices. <laughs> I'm more asking what her actual reaction is to hear. Honest to God, her head is swiveling. She is swiveling her head back and forth like, where the fuck? So, Jace, I want to make a roll to see if I can tell her, don't worry about the voices, you'll hear them all the time. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's intell- reassuring. <laughs> make an intellect roll, but plus three since you understand the language. That is a so, okay. nineteen. Okay, is that Sean. With though the that exact three? phrasing, ex- yes. Okay, Sean. That phrasing isn't exactly any more reassuring. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll hear those voices all the time. They're just the people upstairs that basically say, "Hey, this is what's going on." So as you're saying this, we're the reason you're insane. <laughs> Shut up. As you're saying this, you're saying this in a choppy version of her language, so she's kind of understanding what you're saying, but she's looking at you like, you really just said that in that way? Yep. uh, Yep, I pretty much just said that. To try and clarify this fucking idiot. Same language again. 
to to try and clarify for this fucking idiot. Hey, um, fuck you. We're we're pretty standard around here. Uh, don't worry about it too much. I I seriously wouldn't wouldn't worry about us too much. Look, the more you worry, oh the more you worry about us, the worse it's gonna get. Uh, just know that I apparently get hurt a lot, and I hurt that one a lot, and people laugh at it. So, okay. which I'm surprised you haven't done that yet. Did you? Uh, want... He hasn't given me. He hasn't given me a reason to fucking RKO him yet. You need the chloroform. Do Do, do you want the Not yet. chair I have signed by Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Fair enough. Do you need a steel no, chair? I... I have a chair, remember? It's marble. But it's I, perfect. I, I, fair, but, fair. But mine's Admittedly, just... marble is hard to clean blood off, though. That's the one big issue. Yeah, that is true. Exactly, yes. that's the entire point. Okay. I still want I won't... to... I still want to hit I somebody won't... with this. But after saying that... I've I'm already hit say... someone with it. After that, I'm going to try and tell say it's to her... His... Hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm Jacques. Roll. And I'll go ahead and make the roll. Yep. Another nineteen. Another nineteen. You yep. you say it. She starts to understand that you're kind of getting her language. Mm -hmm. But at this point, she's gonna tell it to you back to try to understand. And it sounds very much like um, a melody almost, and the way that it flows off of her tone of voice is. Like, you think she was singing, but she's not. Jace, will you allow me to make a roll to kind of try and imitate with it and <laughs> get try and get it a little bit more with okay. the dialect? Is there any way I can like get like a, like for these idiots the disadvantage for that? Because there's no way. <laughs> um, I had to put my dog out. Anyway, um. So, you want to put a disadvantage on them? Mm-hmm. Okay. Roll me a presence. Oh, no, presence. Um, let me go down, see what you have. Roll me an in, uh, intimidation check. Okay. Why? It's, it's a daunting task. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't he technically have disadvantage over most of us anyways, considering his current intelligence level and learning a new language? Mm -hmm. I meant for everyone. For everyone. I know, that's that's what I'm getting at. Oh, don't Why are you trying to fuck us over, dork? Because have... if you can understand, the, like, if you can pick up the words, I just don't want you to be able to say them correctly. <laughs> right. I, I understand what she's doing, and I, I'm hoping... Oh, wait, someone's got to roll for her. Duh. All right, I'll roll. Oh, thank God. Okay, you rolled a net, <laughs> you rolled a net 20, by the way. So, this is what happened. <coughs> Nero, I just want you to say any sentence, and none of us are going to understand it. And we're going to think you're insulting us. Except Selfie, who's just not paying attention at this point. So they're superheroes. That's cool. Do you, cool. you hear... One second, one second, Jace. I have a way to make this flow perfectly. Okay. Because they can't understand it. Uh, I think that's... Uh, putting it in one way, yes. I I think so, yeah. Um. Gilgamere looks towards Doctor Strange. Expectingly, Did yeah, I, uh, that, that, to that's a, a way to that's a way to say it. I I, I find it hilarious okay. that you'd say that about them. Actually, it, it's really, it's really, it, it's quite accurate. For the love of just... Odin, what did she say, hey, Jay? Did I understand it to any degree? No, no, we already said no. Okay. No, she got a net twenty, and she said it in a way that no one understood it. You know, really, I, I don't think you want to know what she said. I mean, personally, I don't give a fuck. I'm just yeah. trying to be nice here. I'm pretty much just an anti-hero. I, really I love superheroes. They're kind of, they're like really um, inspiring. 
<laughs> oh man, Super that's hero. That, that that's uh that's definitely something to say about him. That that, that yeah. is interesting, actually. I yeah. do I do hope that you lose that viewpoint after a few days because that that might be problematic. Yeah, a little bit. Not gonna lie. Gilgamir is just starting to get bored at this point, so he's oh, probably gonna he... wander off to find something to go do. So, by anyway. the way, to you guys, I'm not explaining what you're saying. I it's not my job. That'd be I too really much. Gilgamir goes. Yeah, yeah I don't really care at this point. You, you <laughs> just see Maxwell just too much. charge at Doctor Strange and grab him by the cape. What the hell did she just say about us? Oh, the cape, huh? Why don't we make him roll this time? The cape. Damn it, John, give me a minute. (laughs) Silphy had to to roll just to lightly tug on the cape to get Strange's attention. Oh, no, hold on. Let me... Ah, thank God. I wanted to net one. Okay, so you want to see what happened? Okay, so... The cape realized that Doctor Strange was being tugged on, or actually tempted to be tackled by Maxwell. So it decided to come off Doctor Strange and just wrap Maxwell up in a cocoon. Maxwell, you're I was hoping for jujitsu throw. (laughs) <laughs> I was hoping for a goddamn suplex. God damn it, there's gotta be yeah, more. Yeah, uh, I was hoping for a throw. So, Jace, I'm gonna look at Dork's character. What? What? What's her character's name again? Noir. No, her. Nero. Ad, uh, no. Nero. No. 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 I've been pronouncing no. it wrong this entire time. Pronunciation. Gen. That's that's her Elias. 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 Luz, <laughs> shut the fuck up and let her speak. Dork, continue. Yes. Nure. 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 Right? Yes. Nure? Yes. Okay. I try to pronounce it. It's hilarious to me. It's Jacques like is going to look over at Nure. We're having better luck to the out of character than we are in character. <laughs> Anyways, Jacques is going to look over at Nure and say, do you mind if I try and connect with you real quick? Okay. Trying to say it in a way that she'll understand. Roll, roll for uh, intellect. You gotta see if you can say it before you can be confused. Well, fuck a duck! That's wonderful, not 20. Alright, she <laughs> understood everything you said on that one. She cool. understood the body language with the intent. <laughs> really Do you quickly? mind if I try to connect with you so I can understand you better? Really quickly, just for the people in the comments. Really quickly, just for the people in the comments. I want to reassure you guys that these roles are not scripted. No. This is all completely random chance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's all dice. And the fact that we've gotten so many nat 20s is astonishing. At this point, you really it's like, should not be getting any of these, and it no. makes me terrified for the latter half of the season. In all honesty, <laughs> it's one of those things where we're either using them up all in advance, or this is just going to be common ground for the entire time we do this. And if that's if the if latter is, is the case, I'm going to be impressed. If this is common ground through the entire campaign, I fear for the comment section. <laughs> yeah. I fear for the Twitter replies. Anyways. Uh, Anyways, back to the episodes. With that nat 20 to be like, hey, do you mind if I connect with you so that I can understand you better? Do you want to make a... to roll in that 20? I'm sad that you didn't, like, just have, like, a little bit lower because, like, honestly, connect would probably be, like, the... Like, uh... (laughs) To be fair, connect will still be confusing. Yeah. Connect, link, like, Link, um... That's not helping. That <laughs> no! <laughs> Mentally connect with you. Brain fuck, so I can got understand. it. <laughs> Bring a yes, whole new meaning to mind fuck. Okay. <laughs> Bring a whole new meaning to mind fuck there. Pretty much. She's still confused a little bit, but I would she like understands to co-op- the intention. I would like to cooperate with you so I can understand you better. Again, she understands the intention, not 
the complete sentence, but she understands he's trying to be helpful. So she nods. <laughs> Doctor Strange at the, uh, <laughs> gets in the middle of you two. Our lovely friend that's attached to my hand here would like to attach to you. To okay, what, what's... Hmm? Oh, so she attached? Just, for the most part, she just yeah. gets a universal translator. He... Shock is just hung to nod. And basically, yeah, yeah, pretty much. He is using me to connect to my uh... intellect to understand you. He would like to learn more about your your language. Uh, he can he can try. Jacques is gonna hold out his hand real quick. All right, I need both of you to roll me an awareness check. All right, this I... is where this comes into play, boys. Oh, I don't know. That is a twenty-four. Okay. Um. And Dork, what's yours? I don't have dice. I, I rolled... I'm going to roll for you. Okay. What's your modifier? Two. Uh, for a word. Yeah. It's a two. <coughs> That's a twenty. Oh. So twenty-two. I'm... So it, it works. No. no, 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 no. No. Twenty. Twenty total. It is oh. a twenty. What did you get? Total. Twenty talks in total. I got a twenty-seven. Wait. Twenty. You had a twenty-four. 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 Okay, that's 24 that's and a better. Because remember the rule; it had to be. I know. Five. I know. I know. Okay, so you. So connect... you barely made this. Yeah, you you barely made this. You connect with her. She is startled at first, but she starts to realize and how it works. Right. The that... first moment that he enters, he feels a very big shove against like his like. Like, there's, like, a wall, almost. But then she, like, lowers it. Because she didn't, wasn't expecting that type of connection. R relax, Makes my sense. child. It's fine. He's not going to harm you. Yep. Again, she lowers and just kind of, like... Jacques is just gonna motion for her to, like, sit down on the ground real quick. Me meanwhile, <laughs> Maxwell is wrestling with Dr. Strange's cave. <laughs> You poor excuse for a surgeon, get this off me! Maxwell, we need you to shut the fuck up for a moment. You Dad. might you might want Dad. to choose your words wisely, Maxwell. Maxwell. I can Dad. make that a little bit worse. Dad. Yes, what? Good guy. Why are you so stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Just, just stop being mean to the cape, and it'll stop being mean to you. That is easy. Oh, I mean that's entirely accurate. You'll give me your passing by with a book says she has a point. <laughs> I hate all of you. Oh, it's my ass. That's mean. It is mean, but he's being a jackass, so he deserves it. You, you know, I, I'm really hoping that uh, that cape gets a little bit tighter so this way the blood rushes to your head. It might Mr. actually make you smarter. Mr. Strange Man, can you tighten the cape? Um, he said he hates me, and that was mean. You know the cape can understand you, right? Oh, it can? Yes. Mr. Cape, can you tighten around him for being mean to me? Do you oh, just see the cape, like, flap its end like a thumbs up? <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, Gilgamir passed by him with a book in hand, saying how, he has a boy. How tight, does it have, how tight does it have to get before he has to roll against passing him? <laughs> um, right now... He, Maxwell is in pain. He is right now in, in intense pain. I wonder why. So he goes from cussing going <laughs> In the background, uh, my character is just listening to whatever Jacques is telling her to do. Just so we can get it over with. <laughs> hmm. Can we get on with this soon, Doctor Strange? We need to get that amulet in into Basically... the Basically... Jacques is going to be speaking with her through mentality <laughs> and basically connecting so that, hey, 
I want to figure out what words mean so that I can speak with you without having to have a translator and make it easier on everyone that we have. Or alternatively teach so her So I'm going to make you guys do one final roll to see if you can make the understand or be understood of the language. Okay. So it's an intellect roll. Both of you have to roll it. It's the same mechanic as five numbers away. 19, and Nine. Dork, what's your intellect bonus? Eight. Eight. That's an 11. That's on the fucking dot, 19 and 19. Okay. So That's, hmm. that's fucking perfect. You both that is are, great. You're both able to understand each other, and you're starting to learn her language. You're not fully learning the full language, but you understand. You're not able to say it. That doesn't mean that you develop the, the ability to speak it completely, but you you can understand words. But Dork mm-hmm. is also getting to the point where she can understand what I am saying. Right. So she's okay. understanding you. Because of the connection. You are understanding her. Okay. Ready for heavy accents. Go! He's <laughs> got <laughs> Well, that should be interesting to listen to. What do you say about my mother? <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm Someone sorry, insert the Macarena song for her end. Rosco <laughs> understood what, what was going is, on? So what I'm no, hearing is Dork is able to understand what I say. And I'm able to understand You're what slow. Dork is saying. Yes. Okay. You're, you two are able to understand what each other is saying. You just don't know how to speak her language. So she'll understand if I say, hey, I want to teach you how to speak our language, as well as read and write. Okay. Yes, to, you'd have to say it very slow. Okay, to, that's fine. Yeah, to do that, um, you're going to need to make another intellect check on both of your ends. So this way you guys can learn both those skills. Gilgamir with books still in hand reading and... while pressing by while reading is saying, wow, Vio Blood is being a teacher. Now I've seen everything. Oh my god. <laughs> Maxwell in paint. For the love of God. Are you going to start 18. being nice, Maxwell? Uh, and that is a fucking 11. That's... Okay. 1919 again. 19, no, no. No, 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 no. No? 18 and 19. 18, okay. So, you start teaching her how to speak in English. And she starts teaching you how to speak in her language. Okay. To make this interaction faster, I feel like it'd be better to just kind of, like, pass back, like, take all of the knowledge kind of like lump it together and just like pass it and then like he does the same and pass it i mean that's effectively what i'm doing here yeah so that's exactly what all my what's knowledge happening. of words and all that shit and just being like here take this that, and that's exactly what's it happening. in the back of your mind that's why mm-hmm. i keep saying you that's guys pretty have... much what the connection is i'm connecting to you on a mental and physical state yeah okay so that's why i'm t- um, asking you to she's not gonna to... be able to say this at all though <laughs> and that's fine I hope, i'll understand I but the, that your name is not going to be Jacques. It's going to be Jiku. 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 I love that. <laughs> Jiku. Like because that actually takes the accent <laughs> that she has from her own world and actually puts it into play as well. I, I, I like yeah, I, I'm I'm enjoying that. So. Jiku. Neru. <laughs> You're literally going to hear me calling you Neru or Neru. <sighs> mm-hmm. That's why I that's why I put neuro because like that would be like the easiest way to like say it in like when Sophie eventually learn when Sophie eventually learns her name it's gonna be narrow <laughs> Nero Nero I'll see Doctor Strange snap his finger ring. All right that's Nero enough Jones. and the and his cape <laughs> loosens the grip dropping Maxwell to the ground. I wouldn't suggest doing that again. After that happens, Jacques is going to effectively disconnect and say, Do you understand what I am saying? She nods uh, and tries to speak. Uh, yet, yeah, that's about all she gets out. 
pass, I understood. Me a pass and I by get again. It. Yes, <laughs> Jeku, which is okay because accents. You look at me passing by, going, "Oh, he did a half decent job. I really have seen everything now." Fuck off, Goldie. You first, vile blood. Well, I, I think not, me. Not her immediately going. Afaka. <laughs> <laughs> Effectively saying, fuck off! <laughs> is you see Maxwell the done Dr. being Sh mean now? You see Dr. Strange's cape return to his shoulders. Well, I think we've had enough fun for one day. We need to get this amulet back to the museum. So for now, I bid you a farewell. And a portal opens behind Dr. F Dr. Strange. Jacques is just going to extend his arm around his body and wave upside down and be like, bye. Yeah, uh, Nude kind of like jumps back and is like, the fuck? Not like actually saying the fuck in that language, but like it's like... The what? fuck? <laughs> Jacques is basically just going to say, oh, I'm, I'm a liquid. I, I can extend my body. And he's going to reach his arm out 30 feet to touch the wall. And then retract it slowly. And basically, I, hold on. Like, I, I want you. To, I want you to roll something for me, real quick. Okay. Roll me a fighting. Knocks down the wall. Knocks down the wall. <laughs> oh no. Roll me a fighting, because <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm gonna do something. <sighs> please roll high. Please roll high. Please roll high. <laughs> please crit. I mean, please have crit. A plus seven. We'll see what happens. Please crit. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Twenty four. <laughs> So, you stretch out to show that you're a symbiote, but while doing so, you pass over Maxwell, smacking him oh. in the back of the head. <laughs> ah, you poor excuse for a Venom cosplay! Excuse me, bitch! As he says that, I'm going to reach back, and I'm going to use my... <laughs> oh I'm gonna no! Use my damage four. I'm gonna use my damage four, just so I can try and knock him unconscious with affliction. At the Poor same Max, time, wow. <laughs> at the same time, hey, Sylphie, he upon himself. Sylphie's going to ask the cape to tighten just a little bit more. The, the so cape is gonna be an automatic hit. Yeah, in the case that he's actually still no. Stuck. That, that, that was that's why I said I wanted to roll a fighting for me. <laughs> I'm gonna cause affliction. Oh, I'm gonna good. grab him as a free action using fast grab since my damage four counts as an unarmed <coughs> attack. I'm gonna cause affliction at 20. He has to beat a 20 or he's going to fucking get destroyed. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> we can't. Wow. We can't have have well. Immobile and incapacitated. We can't be an hour that. into an episode without Maxwell being unconscious at least once. Or just yep. being beaten the absolute crud out of. So, this was supposed to be a calming, relaxing episode. <laughs> Maxwell did roll a 20. Oh. He rolled a, quick, a crit 20. Okay. Oh. For once, he actually gets a good roll. <laughs> so, <laughs> once, he if realized what you're trying to do, dodges the attack, and goes... All right, enough with the games. Here's and... the thing. Jace, it's not actually an attack. It's a grab. He still dodges it, though. Yeah. Because you, okay. you you made me roll the die to <clears throat> stop it from the child. The child's going to gonna kick him in the shins. If it's against affliction, isn't it a... What is it? It Where doesn't do you... matter. It oh, well, doesn't whatever. matter. Moving on. The child Fair is going to kick him in the shins. Ah! <laughs> Sylphie! The sad part is she's superhuman in her strength, so that actually has the chance to be a problem. <laughs> Stop being mean to people. I'm not being mean! You called him a poor excuse for a Venom cosplay. That's mean. Am I wrong? Yes. Yes! He's more of a poor excuse for a Soul Eater cosplay. I would have said carnage. <laughs> no, I would have said <laughs> carnage myself. Venom? Yeah, see? Venom is like the worst choice you could have I'm gonna made. try and comprehend what Dork is saying at this moment. 
she's honestly just talking to herself like what like <laughs> what what, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jacques is just gonna look over and say he's being an asshole so I wanted to beat the crap out of him real quick uh, Gilgamesh when Maxwell realizes half watching Gilgamesh has been half watching in the corner while reading one of his own books and that's when Maxwell realizes that one of his shoes is missing and inside the child's mouth <laughs> no, 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 don't eat that. Don't eat my shoe. So by fake. the time he, by the time he pries it, by the time he pries it out of her mouth, it's about three quarters of the way gone. Okay, real quick, I do want to do something. Damn it, these are my good loafers. And hold at on, that point, he on. realized one of his sleeves was missing. They're <laughs> fucking loafers? Hey, they're comfortable, okay? I don't also, give a I do... fuck if they're comfortable, you look like a goddamn dork! Hey. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> also, real quick, I do want to do something. It was not meant as a jab. That was meant more as like a, you look like a fucking we idiot. Know. Oh, we know. It just fits. But Dork saw an opportunity. And Dork <laughs> an opportunity. Dork, I okay. appreciate you for that one. So, Jace, you used very specific phrasing. You said pry. So that implies you're putting force to remove it. Yes. Oh, I see. As you initially start doing that, <laughs> you start seeing spears and swords point at your head and throat. <laughs> and he says, "If you are, if you hurt her, I will retaliate." Not in. <laughs> you, you, Understood. You just, you, you just see Stephen say... get in the middle of the room. Okay, everyone. All right. Enough. He, with the the way, he hasn't looked away from his book. He's just basically saying, "John, hurt her." John. You're John. John. <laughs> Sorry. Shh. Yep. Enough with trying to kill each other. Can we at least enjoy the little one's birthday for crying out loud? What's a birthday? Roger again? that, Stevie Wonders. You're, you're worse than the Asgardians, I swear. What's a Stevie? birthday again? All right, again? Stevie. All right, all right. Calm down. It's okay. We're fucking around. It's all good. I'm so confused. I still want to beat his ass, but that's besides the point. Don't, don't, don't worry about it, Sylphie, and p pat Sylphie on the shoulder. I'm uh, just trying to figure out what a birthday is. I don't remember. Steven walks up to Sylphie. Why don't we start with this? And gives her a present. Huh? Oh, gosh. Don't, She's going to start no. gnawing on it. No, 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 you don't gnaw on it. You open it. She's gonna pop one of her claws and just tear it in half. This is like a letter opener. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> she, She's more using it like a box cutter at this point. Just She tears open the package and sees... She finds a bifurcated figure. <laughs> a, a tiny statue of her. I, I had this made by uh, a company called EldridgeFoundry.com. What is it? It's, a it's, at this, it's at this point, people realize that she's never actually seen a mirror. It, she literally doesn't know what she looks like. It, it's a statue of you. It's a little you. This is what I look like? Yes. Yes, Sylvie, that's what you you, you you just see Max. I, get, I understand why people are scared of me now. You, you, you see Maxwell just shaking his head. Steven, how, why why was this a good present for her? Well, well, I I thought it'd be nice for her to have a little like, you know, a little portrait of herself, you know, to put in her bedroom. Aww. And because you know, smart money is a bedroom. Nice. I thought we it's went to the place where you sleep, Sophie. Yeah, I thought you we went over sleep? this. sleep. I thought we went over this the last time. Oh we yeah, that's here. right. You don't sleep. I forgot about that. It's a place where you calm down and relax and just do whatever you feel like. It's where uh, you, you... That doesn't really explain things any further with Sophie, honestly. <laughs> so that's what the box outside on the street is. Yes, Sophie, that's what the box is. Quietly, Nerly, she's gonna, like, slide off into the, like, the background look books. <laughs> because she has no clue what's going on. They're speaking way too fast. <laughs> Jacques is just gonna look over and say, It's alright, you're fine to be here. Why don't you all come to the Oval Room with me, and we'll have a celebration. 
Sophie's oh. gonna ask someone to translate to the new girl if she can hold her hand. Jacques is gonna look over at Dork and say, the little one here wants to hold your hand. Yeah. Also, I just want to make a bit of a joke here. We have the room itself be circular, but the taver, table ovular. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, I thought that was established in episode one. Episode two, actually. Anyways. <laughs> anyway. Dork, Dork, what is Jacques it? is going to relay the message to Dork's character, Neru, and say, hey. Did she ask after she already like, has extended her claws? Because you... I mean, she extended one of her claws to open the box, and then it's retracted at this point. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's not going to, like, you think, and you And you think out. after she saw that, you, she's going to be willing to grab a child's hand? She's a child. She's going to yeah, ask she's because a, she wants to. Little shock is, <laughs> okay, hold on. is just going to say, she's safe. It's okay. She's not going to hurt you. She's actually mildly gentle. Mildly gentle. Exactly. Because one, you're a brutal force to be reckoned with in combat. <laughs> Two, you're adorable. Three, what the fuck even are you? I think the bigger question is how the fuck can this be wholesome? It is wholesome, surprisingly. I am just a question. I'm just surprised we actually got our sponsor in this episode. <laughs> Before the end mark, that's what impresses me. Uh, yeah. Anyways, what's... She quietly <laughs> curses under her lips because she doesn't really know how to interact with children, but she's like, I, I guess, and then extends her hand slowly towards the child, like... Okay, the child okay. excitedly takes her hand with both... Like, she uses both hands to hold one hand. It's just kind of... Pulling you along with the group. Selfie. Jacques's just gonna pet Sophie as they walk along. Be like, yeah. Jacques. So, Dork, real quick, you're probably this is probably something I should probably should ahead of, say it, be said ahead of time. Your character by now probably notices that Jacques and Gilgamir never really leave her side by that much. <laughs> is is it, it? Am I am I, I mean, sandwiched now? Am I sandwiched no, in between them? No. I I feel no. like she probably wouldn't have the chance to notice yet, considering we've been in the same room. Hmm. In both encounters? Yes, but the point being, though, as soon as you start moving to the next room, Gilgamir is going to start walking up to be... Yes, yeah, so to is everyone else. Considering that she's being kind of pulled by Sylvie, there's not really yeah, any... Pretty much. Yeah. It's also hmm. the fact that everyone is moving to the next room. Jacques Every... is just going to walk behind. Everyone is going to the oval room. They all notice gifts and a birthday cake with candles lit. I feel I, this is actually kind of funny because I feel like adding this in for the for the sake of chat. But my birthday cake, because the bakery was fucking stupid, mm -hmm. got supremely delayed. So I only just got it today, and I've been eating it through the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That, that so works. This that fits. Works. Yeah, it fits. That's awesome. That works. Stephen picks up Sylvie and puts her in the chair in front of the cake. I feel like she still hasn't let go of Dork's character's hand yet. Neru? Whatever the name is. Neru. Neru? I'm bad with pronunciation, man. Now you're good. Take your time. You, you see, little one, we, we call these candles, and we have a tradition to blow them out and make wishes. Uh, I'm going to really quickly... Uh, I, do I need to make a roll for him to not notice her shove one of the candles under her mouth? Uh, so I heard <laughs> while it's still on fire. While it's lit, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't hear any of that because I was circumstances. No, you're good. No, you're good. Sylphie is sat down, still holding one, at least, well, she's still holding her hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's been presented with cakes and presents and stuff and I'm currently seeing what it would take for the uh, Steven here to not notice that she shoved a lit candle into her mouth. Um roll the considering the legend of Steven. I would I would like to roll for uh initiative on uh snatching that away with her powers. Well you're gonna you're gonna have an interesting time based on what I rolled. <laughs> And I, I feel like I need to send this as a picture to Jace. Okay, um... 
Let me ask, is it a nat 20? Refer to your DMs for my role. Oh, I do want to say this. It is one of the, this is a legit situation where the players are so shocked by their luck that they legit have feel the compulsion okay. to show photographic evidence. So it doesn't to prove matter what check around. I make you do. Because it was a net 20. <laughs> I feel bad because I'm hitting so many. <laughs> So, I feel like I have to show photographic evidence. <laughs> we, you we know I'm going to put this on the podcast. Or gonna... I know you're going to put this on the podcast. That's why I sent you the picture. Outside of the fact that I feel like I need to to prove that I am hitting these numbers. So, uh... it's not the fact that Steven notices the candle being put into your mouth. It's the fact that he's so shocked of what you just did he didn't even stop you from putting the candle in your mouth and eating it so, no. so i can't like if I can it, would would i be able to would have you... the initiative of putting it out at least before it gets done so here's what i can have you do roll me a would that be you know what roll me in a you're using your power, right? Mm-hmm. You, roll me a dexterity check. Somebody. Yep. Of all the times to roll it at one. <laughs> <laughs> she makes the fire get bigger. <laughs> Ooh, roll, this candle tastes spicy. 15, <laughs> so 15 plus 4. A 19. You... With telekinesis. You blow the candle out, but Sylphie looks upset that you did that. It's almost like That's she used fine. to eat fire when in her old hometown. <laughs> you just oh, see Maxwell. You stop expect this person from an alternate dimension to know that? No, I know. I know that she doesn't know that. <laughs> I'm justifying why Sylphie is upset because <laughs> there is no way in hell Chat knew that. Uh. Steven goes to stop Sylphie. No, little one, don't! And Maxwell stops him. Nope. Let it happen. Let it happen. <laughs> you can't stop the child. Don't her even birthday, try. let it happen. Maxwell has learned from several times of his office getting destroyed from a temper tantrum when she didn't get to eat something. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, have, you not, have you not looked in your office recently? Um, yeah, the cleaners haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. You you might not want to look at your office a couple for a couple of days. Oh, I'm going. Oh, uh, I I I'd actually recommend keeping out of the control room as well. <sighs> that one, that one was the dog that uh, Stephen brought in. Wait, Stephen, I, it was it was a puppy for the little one. One. And with that, we end today's episode. Turns out that's <laughs> the following main course. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed tonight's <laughs> episode of Superheroes of the Round Table. Oh Join us God. next time. How do you manage every time? What? You make it sound so boring. Well, why don't you do it? I have. Every time, and it's okay. No joke, I was getting on. I'm going to call it here. Mm. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Mm. I hope Mm -hmm. you enjoyed the episode. Take care, and have a wonderful night. Good night, Asset. Good night. Good night. And don't forget our sponsor, EldridgeFoundry.com. Oh my god, he's got it right for once. Oh my god. I'm actually impressed. This is the first time that you've actually impressed me. Ever. Wait, wait, wait. Did he put Probably the, be the last. Did he put the actual, like, full website? Yes, EldridgeFoundry.com. No! Mm. Oh, it's Eldridge, it's EldridgeFoundry.com slash superheroes. Get yourself 15% off of your order of an amazing miniature like the one we got you Sophie know, for her birthday. To be fair, to be fair, Maxwell, I'll give him credit. 
I'll give him credit for getting the right name this time. However, on the flip side, for not getting it fully correct... Wait, 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 wait. I know you like using your chair. But I want to save it for the I mean, next I've time he fucks up once. an opening. I mean, I mean, I've already hit him once. I want it, you to... It's a use... new chair. No, no, no. I want you to use the one with Dwayne The Rock Johnson's name on it. Can I chloroform him at least? After you get out there. That seems like a double entendre of its own. I, I, wanna, up there. I, want, I want to chloroform him at least for this episode. He hasn't been brought down yet. Hit him once with the chair and then chloroform him. I've already hit him once with a chair, so I guess we're chloroforming him. <laughs> Wait, what? No! Okay, can we just... <laughs> Anyways, as, as, we, uh, as we get rid of a nuisance here, I hope that all of you had a wonderful time. Can we just talk and about how like, he literally sat no, there and listened to all that happened I, and just did nothing? <laughs> I, I hope that you all had a wonderful time. And I pray to see you guys in the next one. So, to every one of you, Supers, Misfits, and Freaks, we'll see you all in the next episode of the Super Game with a slightly ovular table for copyright reasons. Farewell, everyone! Bye-bye!